disposing of your motor vehicle. Perhaps the second biggest purchase we make in our lives after a house would be a motor vehicle. These can be all too consuming in time spent maintaining, sitting in traffic as well as buying parts and servicing over the life of the vehicle. Cars basically require attention and also have a end date at which decisions have to be made to dispose, keep as a second car or trade up for a newer better model. There are numerous ways to get rid of the old family clunker. You can sell your car privately, online, at an auction, or take the car to a motor vehicle dealer and trade up for a new or second-hand new model. In some cases the car has simply used its use by date and either cannot start gathering rust in the garage and is unused at which point the vehicle would require more cost to repair and get restarted for the road and for registration than what the market value of the vehicle would be. Selling a car in this case varies in terms of regulations in each state and country. The first step in selling a car is to look at the regulatory guidelines. Generally your state-by-state -state road agency that enforces transfers and registrations of motor vehicles will have all the details on their website. These details will outline who is responsible for any paperwork, government taxes, and duties that may be applicable, and whether the car can be transferred to begin with if in the event the car doesn't have required safety certificates to enable transfer. There are various pros and cons with selling a car. 1. Private car sale. This will generally yield the most money. And ideally you need to put money into the car to improve its overall appearance to maximize price. You will be required to write an advertisement and take calls and schedule appointments. This can be ongoing and in some cases slow if there are a lack of buyers in the market or you have unknowingly advertised the car at a price which the market is unresponsive. This requires negotiating the sale as well as having a gut feel where the car is priced in the market based on other competing advertisements. Some websites are better than others for selling cars. 2. Auction. This form of sale is generally quick and hassle-free, although the price received will be a lot lower than selling by private sale. People that attend auctions are generally looking for bargain motor cars and to make matters worse, some auction halls use mixed stock with large lot government car sales or seized vehicles which makes competing for the best price even more difficult. Generally, buying at auction is better than selling and these auctions are frequented by dealers who will clean the cars, if not already, and sell on their car dealership lots. 3. Wrecking and Recycling Companies So the car doesn't go and has become a rust bucket. One alternative is to get cash for the motor vehicle at a wrecking and car recycling company. Generally you won't get much money but the wrecker will have a tow truck come on site and collect the car which can be a cost in itself if you had to arrange privately. Check various governing rules in your state in respect to selling or disposing of unroadworthy or wrecked cars. In some cases no paperwork is required other than to return the number plates to the road registry office and notify them the vehicle is destroyed. 4. Gift. This may be where you give the car to a friend or family member. In some cases there may be government stamp duties and transfer taxes payable. 5. Trade into a dealer. This method of sale will yield less than selling privately but is in some cases less hassle and quick and convenient. In most states the dealer is required to handle and submit the paperwork to the vehicle registry office so the paperwork aspect is clean and clear. If you have a direct sale with no changeover I purchase of another vehicle off the lot you will generally get a lower price than buying an Atair car off the dealer as the car dealer will be aiming to make money not only on selling your vehicle but also the vehicle you are buying. In some cases there's cooling off periods and warranties applicable called lemon laws which allow the vehicle to be returned to the dealer within a certain time period should there be problems with the car. In recent years there has been a surge in popularity of selling the car privately and using online car sales websites. With this has come a new breed of criminal who bait sellers and in many cases get away with cash from the seller. The deception played out has generally been the work of criminals working from outside the country and using services such as Western Union to falsely make claims to the owners selling the cars privately. Car sale scams are outside the scope of this article, however there is plenty of information about the practice online that you should be aware of should you decide to sell your car privately. If you are trading the vehicle 
or buying another vehicle from an auction house or privately you should also investigate the history of the car. Some services provide detailed information such as whether the car has been stolen or has a financial debt on the vehicle. You should also get the car of purchasing thoroughly checked out for any signs of accidents and repairs as well as checking the motor. In some cases there may be early signs of problems that can become very costly if left unattended. Overall, buying and selling motor vehicles is a simple experience, although sometimes it can be a stressful experience. There are many options available and you should choose carefully your options and weigh these options up with your time available to achieve the best possible cash for sale or the best price on purchasing.